what's the weather 58 it's 56 degrees i'm cold and it's supposed to rain today what everybody keeps saying they're not cold i'm freezing <laughs> October. I think personally that it's already too cold. It's way too cold. No. I'm just so tired of living in New York during October because the beginning it's still hot. It's like 70s. You know, it's it's a hot 70 because in New York there's a cold 70 and there's a hot 70. New Yorkers never experience Halloween without coats. You have to be Little Red Riding Hood with a coat. Superman with a coat. What's today's date? The 23rd. So Damn, Halloween is in less than a week? No, a week and a day. It's too cold, I'm too cold, I'm not going outside. I mean, I haven't really gone like trick or treating in a really long time. I've been staying in since I was like 10 and that's too young. Like, you should still be trick or treating at 10. You should still be trick or treating at 16. You should still be trick or treating at 21. Get your candy. I don't know, I don't like the cold weather and it's crazy because I live in New York and I feel like everybody thinks we have the coldest weather in the world. I'm so scared for it to get cold. It's like, you really would've thought I was a foreigner. You would've thought I was from somewhere else, but I'm not. I've lived here my whole life. But like, I don't remember what it was like being that cold every year we have no time to prepare for sweater weather we don't really have a sweater weather it's really just hot extremely freezing there's no in between dressing in new york is really just a trial and error because everybody's kind of just in between is it too cold to wear uggs is it too hot to wear uggs and you'll never know until you actually wear those uggs outside and realize that wait it's actually hot today and now you look stupid so now you know it's not time to wear uggs i feel like i haven't vlogged in such a long time and i kind of forget how to vlog every time I pick up my camera. Talking about cameras, if you guys don't know, I use the Canon G7X. A lot of you guys ask me what I use to vlog. My two cameras are the Canon G7X and the Canon M50. I use those more for like my sit down videos, like the hauls, or just videos where I'm talking usually right there on my bed. I really wanna update to the Canon ZV-1. No, what? Sony ZV-1. However, that camera is about like $800. And then for the tripod that I want, that's an extra $150. So almost $1,000 on something that I don't really need. The quality is just so good on that camera. And I honestly feel like there's been a number of times where I've filmed vlogs and the footage just wasn't up to par and I've scrapped it. Knowing me and how I go in and out of moods where I want to record and sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, I don't need my camera being the reason that I have to scrap a video. Switching over from a Canon to a Sony is kind of like switching over from an Apple to a Samsung. Not saying one is better or worse. I am saying one is better. But it's like one is more mainstream. It's just so much more. Canon has a name. Sony has a name too, but Canon has a name. Now, I'm not really trying to say that Canon cameras are bad, but I'm starting to think that Sony cameras are better. Honestly, I am thinking about getting that camera, but I just feel like, you know what? Let me become a better and more comfortable vlogger before I update my equipment because knowing me, I'll get the camera and still not know how to vlog. We're gonna try this again. Um, all right, so unfortunately my camera did die in the middle of me talking. So today we're gonna be getting ready for New York City's brutal sweater weather. I mean, where the fuck should I really even start? I got holes that I'm keeping in the dark. I got my niggas across the street living large Thinking back to the fact that they dead I'm raps from the facts that they sat with the boss I got two phones, one need a charge Yeah, they twins, I can tell they ass apart I got big things coming on the way I got big snacks coming out the stage I got Lil Max with me, he the wave It's a big gap between us and the game In the next life, I'm trying to stay paid so we just got to the mall we're about to start the fall shopping and wish me luck because we tried this yesterday and it didn't work because they didn't have my slippers okay chop the roof and let the smoke clear i got diamonds doing just the slides in both ears dice falling on the las vegas trip tonight Slip that on and we might miss the fight Fuck or not, I keep the guava in my shorty bag Cause she want a mom when she tattooed that ass I'm a lover boy, she do the choice She been coming in my ride up It's that room myself, but Jay ain't count my figure shit It's that stepping out, I feel like I'm that nigga shit 
I drop 30 on this room, we ain't gon' skip this shit If I catch you not it off, then it's gon' be some shit Well, you can do what you wanna I think Panera Bread has been the calmest store that I've been in this entire time at this mall. So it's probably really montage right now. I really apologize. Some of y'all like that, some of y'all don't. The drink that I got is a grande chai tea latte with um, pumpkin cream, cold foam, and caramel drizzle. I told her I like caramel and uh, she just kind of, you know, did a drizzle or whatever. I got some pictures of it. I hope they were good enough for the thumbnail. But this is really good. It tastes like full in a cup though. So like if you don't like that pumpkin-y, you know, very heavily syrup flavor, that's the only way I can explain like. So I thought I was gonna Panera Bread, but they don't have anything here. They don't got no salads, they don't got no broccoli cheddar soup. And that's the only thing that's worth eating from here. So never mind. Back to what I was saying though. I didn't really know what I wanted. So she kind of like custom made it. And I knew they was gonna spell my name with a Y. It's just ADA, but I pretty much did everything I need to do at the mall, which was try a Starbucks drink, like a fall drink, which I asked you guys. I asked you guys to tell me your favorite fall drink, and I got a lot of answers, but I just didn't, like, I don't know. Like, I can't judge the drinks based off of what they're called, if that makes any sense. I tried a fall Starbucks drink. I got literally, like, $100 worth of candles, which I'm going to show you guys when I get home. The only thing I haven't gotten is my Tasmans, and I've been seeing everybody walking around the mall with them, and it's making me want them so bad. In kids' journeys, they only have them up to a size 3, and then in regular journeys, they only have a men's size 9 and up. I'm a size 5, so I have a feeling I'm going to have to order them. I just didn't want to order them because I'd rather just have them in my hands, but that's looking like the best bet, and I need to order them now before they end up sold out online, too. I love the atmosphere here. Like, I feel like I'm talking to a camera and nobody cares. It's very calm in here. It's like a Starbucks. Like, nobody's nobody's paying me any mind. I'm literally sitting here talking to a camera. This is not an easy lifestyle. I want y'all to know that. Like, I feel crazy 90% of the time. Good morning and happy Halloween. It's not gonna be Halloween when you guys are watching this, obviously, because I'm filming this on Halloween, but you get the idea. I said when I started this video that Halloween was a week away. So yes, I have been gone for a week, but with reason. I know you guys see this mess that's behind me. I know my room is usually a mess, but it's really not this bad. This is all the stuff that I've been ordering over like the last two weeks, and I wanted to wait till everything came in so I could give you guys like a full fall collective haul. Literally still haven't even taken the Bath & Body Works candles out of the bag because when I went to the mall, I really only came back with candles just because Foot Locker didn't have my Ugg Tasman, so I had to order them, which, like I said, they'll be in there. So that's why it's Halloween and it's a week later. On top of that, I actually have plans today. We're going to Fright Fest, and if you don't know what Fright Fest is, they kind of turn Six Flags. Six Flags is an amusement park. I'm pretty sure all of you guys know this. I don't know why I'm explaining this. They turn Six Flags into like kind of like a Halloween amusement park, so that's what we're going to do. That's why I'm like half-dressed. That's the top, just in case you guys were looking at me like, girl, how is full and you wearing a Razorback t-shirt? So, I know myself, and if I start opening the packages now, I'm not gonna be ready when it's time to leave, so I'm gonna get ready first. Then we'll open the packages on my bed, because you guys know that's like my little unboxing station. So, I guess we'll probably just fast forward to them. I don't think you guys wanna see another montage of me getting ready. It's the same thing every day. I feel like you guys kinda already saw the candles that I picked up during my little Bath & Body Works montage, 
but i feel like if i go throughout the whole video without talking about a candle is it really a jada video mm, not really we literally bought so many candles that they had to give us a tray because having all those candles just like me in this bag would have probably ripped it first of all y'all know the this is this is the staple if you guys don't know i posted it on my spam which if you guys don't have me on my spam it's a little more dior on instagram it's not private it's a public spam i told you guys that this is literally my favorite candle like ever this i don't play about this candle so this is the mahogany teak wood and this is the intense one they do have one that's not intense but like why wouldn't you get the intense one if i had to put this sentence into words it would basically be like do you guys remember is hollister even still a thing when you used to walk past hollister in the mall that smell that very like manly body spray type of smell that's what this smells like when i posted this on my spam though there was a couple people telling me that they didn't like the smell of mahogany I don't know how. This is the best candle in Bath and Body Works. I don't care. Nothing's beating this. Not a champagne toast. Not a white marshmallow latte. Nothing. None of that is beating this. Um. So Autumn Woods is this green one. It has dark walnut, English lavender, and white amber. This one smells really good. I don't know how to really explain the smells of candles to y'all. Y'all just gonna have to go in and just smell my recommendations. White gardenia. This is gardenia petals, sweet apple, and white tuby rose. This one smells the most floral of all of them. Lakeside morning. The smell literally says crisp air, driftwood, and fresh green apple. Like, this literally smells like fresh air. I don't know how to explain it. I don't know how that makes sense. But it says it on the candle. It has scents or hints of fresh air crisp air at that eucalyptus mint this is fresh eucalyptus sweet spearmint and lemon zest this candle is the most like this gives me like a spa feeling i don't really know how to describe candle smell so just go in and smell what i tell you to smell this one is my favorite this is the only one i think i can put into words how it smells this is clean linen crisp apple and soft musk this one right here i didn't even tell you the name sun drenched linen this smells like laundry this smells like laundry day like literally this is so good it's so good i love sun drenched linen so much i want to be a sun drenched linen like honestly so these are the six candles that i got and now we're gonna get onto the bigger boxes because those are the big boys those are the things i'm really excited for and those are the things that you probably already saw on the thumbnail okay so the first thing i'm gonna unbox is my tasmans because i've been telling you guys a lot about them but if you don't know what they are you probably don't know what they look like i bought mine from journey's kids because i do wear a kid size was that just showing my address they're way cheaper for kids so if you wear a kid size but you also wear a woman's size don't buy them in women's because women's charge you $100 when kids is only $70. So go to Journey's Kids. I did get the brown ones because I already have the black ones. Even though my black ones are a little crusty, I definitely could re-up on a new pair of black ones. So this is what they look like. A fresh pair of Ugg Tasmans. They're brown. They're so pretty and they're so comfortable. First pair that I bought was my black pair, like I said. And the reason why I bought them was because I was working at Five Below at the time. Mind you, I was working during Christmas time, so I was on my feet a lot. They were saying how comfortable they are, and literally, I have not went back since. They go with everything. Like, I literally have green sweats on right now, and these wouldn't look bad with this. Maybe it would. Who knows? I'm not a stylist. Okay, so now I feel like I have to open the thing that I'm the most excited about. Y'all don't even know. Now, y'all probably know what it is already. I'm mad excited. I don't even want to touch it. Like, I'm so excited. I just don't know which one is which. I forgot which one is which. I don't know it, it doesn't matter this is the one that i wanted to open first oh my god no 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 okay hold on i gotta back the uggs out again because i gotta show y'all how cute this is all right so these are definitely not the only pair of uggs that i'm gonna get i want to get like a pair of bailey bow uggs if you guys don't know what bailey bow uggs are they're the uggs with the bows on the back and i know that's like a little bit childish i haven't had a pair of those since like forever but i just think they're so cute like i want to go back to my youth and just have a pair of bailey bow uggs maybe i'm too old for that who cares i'm getting a pair and these like i said these aren't the girliest so it probably wouldn't go with this you guys are probably already seeing what this is yo i've been waiting to open this for so long i've been waiting to open it so if you guys don't know telfar and ugg have a collaboration which if you don't know where have you been living under a rock funny story i actually missed the release let me take out the bag i know you guys are tired of me talk y'all don't understand how excited i've been to open this bag that's how adorable this I'm about to make such a big mess in this room, but oh my god. Do you guys see how adorable this bag is? I was hearing a couple things about this, and the way that, I mean, if you really think about it, this bag really is a little risky. Because, you know, the white fur on the edge could get really dirty. I also did hear that denim can stain this, which I don't really want to happen. I've been fiending to post this on Instagram, but I haven't been able to open it. But now I can post my little stories, and I can post on my spam, and... 
I'm just so happy about it. That's literally adorable. Now I can put these away. Um, so once again, like I said, I usually don't hesitate to buy so far bags just because I know I can sell it if anything. And I don't hesitate so much that I got another one. This one is actually the most knuckle collaboration. Like I said, I was kind of done with the regular shopping bags, but he was getting me. Oh my God. He had so many collaborations. The duffel bags, don't even get me started on the duffel bags. I did just get the black medium one. I really did like the print of the large one, but where, mm, where am I going with the large one? Like I really don't do anything on a daily basis. Like if I need to feel like an outfit in my flat iron, just you know, stay the night somewhere, or if I have a photo shoot, these bags are good, but a large, me personally, a large is not for me. So before we even get into this bag, this bag was $283 after tax and everything. Retail retailed for $260, so the other one was a little bit more expensive. But I'd expect it to be just because, you know, the fur, the suede is, you know, just like a higher quality. Okay, my camera wanted to be a hater. It's also about to die, so we need to get through this pretty quickly. This is the puffer bag. <laughs> like I said, this is more just like a puffer jacket. And I feel like this is so different for Telfar dudes. Like, you know, they always have the leather. It does give that winter cozy vibe. I'm happy with this. I'm not gonna lie. I'm happy with this. I do think I'm gonna keep it just because it's black. And I'm going to keep both of these bags. I know myself. If anything, I think I'll just return the UGG one for a small one. When I say return, I just mean like sell it, you know, buy the small one. But I don't want to unwrap this or anything because I want to take like two good pictures for the thumbnail and not have the straps be all over the place. But this is the second bag. This is super duper cute. Like I really do love this. And two more bags to add to the collection. Mr. Clemens, go easy on me. So now, I'm not gonna lie, that pretty much is all of the fun stuff, but I did get two more things that is gonna contribute to the full vibe of this video. If you guys couldn't tell, I did buy four new pillows because I have a full-size bed, if you guys don't know, and I only have two pillows on it. Something about that gives me like, like, you know those kindergarten cots you used to sleep on with one pillow? It's just like, why do you have a, a full-size bed and two pillows? So I got four new ones because, honestly, my pillows were, like, deflated and they just weren't it. And I know you guys are probably like, girl, why? Like, what do you, why? But it's just like, I never really invested in pillows. But now that I have some, I shouldn't be buying pillows anytime soon. Um, Now, I'm not going to put those pillows on my bed right now just because I do want to change my whole bed sheet set. And I do want to, you know, have everything all fresh and clean. And what do you know? I actually bought some new bed sheets. I was being really picky when it came to my bed sheet set because I did want something that screams fall, but I don't really like shopping too much for seasonal just because a week ago, if I would have bought like a bunch of pumpkins, it's literally Halloween today, I would have had to get rid of everything. I think Christmas is my only like soft spot where I kind of go all out with like my little Christmas tree and like, you know, my blankets and stuff like that. But when it came to fall, I just feel like fall or Halloween, some of y'all are gonna hate me for saying this, but it wasn't worth decorating for. I tried to go for something that I can put on my bed year round and it would still give the fall vibe and it will also fit for Christmas. I know you guys are probably curious, like what in the hell did you get? What I did was I went ahead and got a flannel bed sheet and I feel like flannel gives very like pumpkin patch, but it also gives a Christmassy vibe. And I just felt like, you know, based on how I decided to decorate my room, I feel like the flannel was just a really good compliment it wasn't too out there i could also use this year round and put some like pink pillows and make it really cute i feel like this was really smart of me to get because it's very kind of season neutral um so the next thing that i got was just these two pillowcases they're extra pillowcases just so all four of my pillows can go with my bed set and i actually did a pretty good job at never mind i thought the grays match they kind of don't but it's fine you know i always love it when my camera dies I did get both of these things from Amazon and I've been waiting to tell you guys a little surprise which is that I'm actually an Amazon partner now meaning that I have a storefront that you guys can buy everything that I mentioned in and I'm super excited for this because you guys asked me where a lot of things are from and 90% of the time they're from Amazon um so that's gonna be linked down below I'm not gonna talk about it too much during this video but I just wanted to let you guys know in case you wanted the direct link to these bed sheets or the pillowcases or any books that I mentioned from my last video which I talked about my book recommendations I have a list up for that just whatever I buy like literally you guys are gonna see everything that I buy you guys can go shop directly through there um so I actually have a quite big mess here that I have to clean up because as I told you guys we're leaving to fry fest in maybe about an hour or so up uh, see that's the goal I have 15 minutes to get all this together and get ready which is honestly not enough I think I'm gonna leave my room like this we gotta get ready we gotta get on the road because fry fest is like an hour some change away I gotta I gotta get this together so I gotta go <laughs> Every night for every day, every day, I just didn't wind up. Oh, God, you should match it, it's that kill. 